what's up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i am back with a cooking video for you guys tonight i decided to make a cooking video for you all because i haven't did one in a while i was gonna do um another type of video but i changed my mind and so what i'm doing for you all is i am doing the shrimp the sausage the red skin potato and the corn foil pack there it is right there it's gonna come to a boil and uh, I decided to do mine a little different. Um, I got a stick of butter. I got some, some garlic I'm putting in here. And I want that to kind of melt together on the stove. And I'm gonna cut up Italian parsley. And I got my Old Bay garlic and herb and my olive oil and my, and my lemon. Here's my sausage right here. My turkey sausage, I use turkey sausage. Um, I'm not gonna put it in the boil because it's not gonna take long when I pop that in the oven with the rest for about 15 minutes, that should be ready. So that's what I'm doing. Stay tuned. So here I go, I'm chopping up my uh, parsley. I'm gonna try to chop it just the thin and fine as I can. I might go back over this or just go ahead and do it thin the first time. Don't matter, I don't want that much. Just want a little bit anyway. Half a, they say for flavor, but I just like to try it for color. <laughs> Whatever. And I'm going to do that. Smells good. First time cooking with parsley. Um, Whatever. And uh, of course that'll be thinner. I'm going to squeeze these over in the, like a Okay, and I'm doing it slightly different. I think I'm doing it a little bit easier because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze, well, I'm gonna squeeze these in the foil pack. And I'm gonna put these over in the sauce that I'm melting now. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna grab it, it's already got that rinsed off. This is the butter and the minced garlic that's in there already. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that to a melt. I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic seasoning to it and then um, salt. I'm gonna let that do it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Old Bay garlic herb seasoning in it. I know it already has minced garlic. Y'all know I love garlic. See, that's just, I just wanted to do that. That's it. Because this is gonna be like a little sauce that I pour over the boil when it's finished. I'm gonna cut that off because actually it is. And that's coming to a boil. I'm gonna let this boil for about 15 minutes. I just had put this in here. Um, and also, here I go over here. I chopped up my um, sausage. I'm gonna make me an Arnold Palmer with the Arizona sweet tea and the lemonade. And I'll make me a Arnold Palmer as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make these Arnold Palmer right quick. Making it for myself instead of going out and getting me one. Chick fil A's is so good. I think they say half. Yeah, because I got ice in there. Yeah, I don't wanna do it too much. Man. Just, uh, I don't know if it's half or half. So I think somebody told me 75% tea, 25% lemonade. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna find out because I'm just. Making this up. Yeah. Hope I did that right. I'm gonna find out. That's the best Arnold Palmer I ever had, probably because I made it. Anyways, I'm gonna try to see this picture. When the girls was here, Keisha and Keishandra and Isis and Yanni came down. We all had a paint with a twist party. This is my picture. She has I did those colors in that scarf like that. I'm just trying something different. Though. And I got another paint we did when we was in Michigan. It's still out in the car, I gotta get it. My videos that I make, I wanna address the one the other night when I was talking about my, um, you know, me needing counseling. 
when when I'm talking about uh things like that, when I said about, you know, I'm needing counseling and I don't know why I keep running and everything. Um, you know, what am I running from? Um, it was not directed anything towards my kids, you know what I'm saying? We have learned, me and my kids, how to keep things out of social media that's between us um, from now on. So it's, it's because things have gotten taken out of hand and twisted and people, uh, you know, added their stories and, and stuff like that. So we all decided to uh, make sure that we, and I don't have to, um, you know, post every little thing about us because like I said, we just got tired of seeing family drama down the um, timeline and God is healing us. God is healing us. And so I'm grateful for that. But my video was nowhere and directed of, um, you know, I'm running because oh, I'm hurt, so hurt over, you know, Queen and all of this type of stuff because that's not what that is. That was just me dealing with, you know, me dealing with my struggles and, you know, from childhood up until now. And, you know, sometimes things can be in us, you know, as a kid, you know. Um, have you ever uh, been to a place where, you know, a certain smell come across your nose and you'd be like, it took you all the way back to elementary school or a, a certain, um, uh, a sound or, a, you know, just some, 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 uh, type of, it could be an old perfume or, a, it could be books. Like when you walk in a library or something and, and that old book smell will take you back to your childhood. You know, sometimes it'd be things like that, the flashbacks and things of your childhood. But I said that to say, sometimes those scents and those, um, things you, you know, like old songs you hear can bring back a memory that was like long gone. You'd be like, oh wow, a thought from your mind and your past popped up, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be things like that. And so it's a lot of things that, you know, um, I had dealt with in my childhood and um, kind of like, it's kind of like coming out now, you know, as far as why I do things the way that I do, why, it's, why uh, the way that, how I am like I am, the reason why, you know, and um, it's just, basically really was dealing with me and gathering myself, you know, um, and my thoughts and um, just overlooking my life. Um, it's not about uh, nobody else, but you know, if, you know, when you hit this age, you know, there is a light bulb that comes on and, and you start to think, you know, you go back and you retract all your mistakes and everything you made and you want to you know, right all your wrongs, dot all your I's, cross all your T's, you know, it's just that's the age that you get to, you know. But it's nothing like, you know, people, uh, uh, you know, get on there and assume and, you know, say things and try to stir up that drama again. I'm not gonna allow that to happen. So I'm gonna nip it right in the bud. That's why I'm speaking on it. There's nothing directed towards my kids. Anyways, I think I need to check on my boy over here because I don't want my potatoes to be too soggy. Ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all something for us ones that's sticking to this diet. Y'all see me mess up every now and then, but when I do be out to eat, most of the time y'all see me eating right too. So I just wanted to show y'all something. Um, this is a good idea, I thought. Um, these are the um, apple cider vinegar on the to-go on the to-go bottles. See. And um, 
because they, they, they you know, I got a big gut, okay? I'm tired of my gut. And um, people say it's a lot of benefits to apple cider vinegar. It helps with your joints. It helps with uh, your vision. It helps with, um, you know, as far as the big thing we don't like, the big gut, it helps with that. So I bought this when I went to Ross when the girls was here. I'm sure I thought I showed y'all this. And what I do is I fill it to the top with ice and water. And if you want to, you can put a little crystal light um, mix in it. You know what I'm saying? To kind of kill the taste of this bottle. Um, it, they said to like maybe get three tablespoons of this down a day. Um, and eventually, you know what I'm saying? You'll see results and you'll feel results as well. And um, so I'll take this bottle, like I said, and I'll pour this, this whole thing in there. And um, if it's too vinegary, I'll go just whatever. I'll just go ahead and drink it down and I'll just add, you know, more water to it or whatever. But I just thought that was a good idea that y'all should know. They, I didn't, I'm just not seeing these. Y'all probably already knew about it, but for some of y'all who didn't, um, these are on the go apple cider vinegar shots. I'm on it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And um, like I say, I may not be where I want to be, but I thank God I ain't where I used to be. And I just, just keep it moving water now because sometimes you know i drink that uh uh arnold palmer sometimes it's too sweet i also gotta get that checked out y'all because it's like i don't know if it's just me but every time i i like eat something sweet it's like i, I be wanting you know water afterwards i don't know if that's a problem with the sugar but i know i don't have that i'm pre says i'm pre i am on metformin i am on that because they say i'm pre um diabetic so I guess that means prone to it. And I ain't trying to take no chances because that runs in the family as well. So y'all see me drinking down some water, but vinegar is so good, y'all. I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's what we got. Shrimp, potato, sausage, corn, and it's healthy. Ain't it pretty? Good. My son over there like this. He got his hand up like. When you get that thumbs up, you pretty much nailed it. You know? So I got my shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's good too. Huh? Ice tea. Ice tea good? Mm -hmm. See, it beats Diet Coke, son. And my potato, my shrimp, and my sausage. When I made this video for y'all. When y'all want to do something at home. Y'all, I did something at home. I didn't go to the restaurant, y'all. Is y'all proud of me? I ain't gonna eat the whole thing in front of y'all. Peace out, Jesus now.